Hello guys, this is your G, turn up the game and welcome to a new episode of Everday. Hey you, you need to see this episode for the best tips to get more than 10,000 hearts in Everdale. Or even 20,000 hearts. Let's go. Guys, you're not beginners anymore in Everdale. You are now advanced, intermediate, experts, call it whatever you want, but you need to hear these tips. Madeline, start with tip number one. Tip number one, color code your villagers on skills or use customs if you can afford because it's very important to be organized in this game. And I will give you an example for myself. I'm applying, um, I have six villagers. One of them is very, very good um, on researching. This is why I decided to give him a purple costume and for the others for example for uh, wood carolina the villager is um, wearing a green custom claudio uh, is wearing is making clay and is wearing an orange one another one for farming it's yellow uh, for stone it's gray and for build builders it's red this is how i used to play uh, but it's very important to be organized yeah it's very useful because when you assign a task to somebody uh, of course, you will see if the specific uh, uh, villager has a skill, but you will first see the costumes or, or the colors if you cannot afford the costumes. Tip number two, very, very important. I was, uh, I failed at this and now I'm telling you guys, don't fill this boost meter to more minutes than you need. So for example, you know that you will need to, um, I don't know, finalize a building in five minutes, yeah? And you want to boost only for two minutes. Press once to, then let's say three minutes, three times the boost meter and then start the boosting. It will happen that you will forget that you are boosted and you will get out of the game and you will lose 30 elixir. Until I yeah, found it on my, on my own, I always had my boost meter filled up to 30 and I lost, I think 20 something uh, nectar for nothing. Uh, by the way, nectar you can get only from the nectar fountain, but it's very, very, very uh, hard to get. What I did was I bought these uh, beginners packs, and, and whenever I was I upgraded my, my village to level nine, to level eight, to level seven, I bought these offers, and that's how I have so much nectar. Tip number three, Madeline. Before talking about tip number three, I would like to remind you to subscribe to our channel and also like this episode if you want to see more episodes about Everdale. Thank okay, you so much. Tip number three place storage is next to the stone or clay mine and also near the evergrow it's very important to stay very close to the to the mines because in this way your villager will not have to go to travel to the other part of the village for example in order to go and uh, place the wood there for example and in this way you will reduce a lot of time when you are um, building resources for example if you have if you are using two villagers on two different mines, try to split the storages to have one near one mine, the other one to the other mine, because you will improve a lot the timing of um, producing the resources. Exactly, that's a very good tip. M moving on to the next one, place the library next to the kitchen. That's one of the most important tips I can give you guys. You remember in the beginner tips I said, keep always somebody researching. It's very important to ad advance in your library, but to keep the library next to your kitchen is very, very important because you would like your researcher to not travel a lot between the library and the village kitchen. That's really the most important tip of this episode because usually when somebody works and you want him, him, him or her to, to finalize the, the work faster, you will give him this uh, brew that allows him to do the work without having to eat but not for the researchers for the researchers you want to give them the researchers brew always because that's how his speed increases of, of his researching speed increases and that's what you want to do please really 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 important i cannot stress enough how important this is next tip madeline this tip is going hand in hand with the previous one because you have to always have someone on researching is very important even overnight to have uh, one villager researching and the other the other one making soup for him because in this way you will have the the is the fastest way in which you can upgrade your village very very uh, productive in a very productive way and also in parallel you can support your valley because you will uh, receive a lot of items which can be after that given to the to the boats for example or in the events anyhow it's very very productive to have everybody somebody researching all the time and somebody providing soup for him or her 
And yeah. the last tip for this episode, try always to keep the buildings that require specific materials next to the mines and next to the storages. For example, here I have the statue workshop next to the stores, stone storage and next to the stone store, uh, stone mine. Then I have the Evergroove next to the figurine workshop and next to the wood storage. And then I have my uh, pottery workshop next to my clay pit and my clay storage. Of course, as I will advance through my uh, library, I will unlock new buildings and maybe these, uh, let's say, loops will be harder to to make very efficient but for now I'm very happy with the way my town looks like and I'm pretty sure that you guys will say the same write it down in the comments write it down that CRG has the same the best village and the best valley and Madeline talking about the valley there is a new event right now what can you tell us about this yep. new event uh, it's not an easy event because we in the first stage of the event we have to complete 48 uh, tasks where is it Oh, yeah, in the yeah, I found it. yeah, yeah. The name of the event is Fiona and Finn the farmers. I know this event. We had a similar one um, one week ago, and after we'll complete this one, we'll have a speed boost on the farm. Uh, it's very important to to make it uh, to complete this event because after this one, you will have the possibility to receive a lot of points for the researching, uh, for researching, and after that you can. Um, yeah. You can invest in your great library, which yeah. is very important. Now that we are more members in the Valley, I think it will be easier to finalize these events. However, as you say, there are a lot of, of, of events and most of them are from the tailor. So we need socks, we need trousers and we need tunics. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure not a lot of, of um, colleagues have unlocked tunics, right? You don't have it, for example. I don't have it right I now. I have it, but I don't have... Oh crap, I don't have wool. So I need somebody now to be placed on getting wool. So I will have Alona go take wool and I will have uh, Noah go take wool and I will probably have also Brad go get wool. And let's see if by this new assignment I will lose my soup. Uh, I will lose my soup. So I need to go to my soup maker and give her a potion of getting soup faster. I want to increase farming by 100% for six hours, not really because that's too much commitment. So then I'm just gonna give Julianne this potion of not having to eat while working. And now I see that my soup stands, holds, and even for the next four hours or eight hours, I will not remain out of soup. That's really important for an advanced uh, builder or villager. Or what, what, what are we? Chiefs, right? We are chiefs. I guess. Yeah, yeah. To Since we are talking about our valley, I want to highlight one very, very important thing. Uh, I'm very close to reach 20k uh, hearts in uh, our valley, and I promise that I'm going to make oh, an episode wow. together wow. with Cosmin about how I managed to reach 20k mm -hmm. stars in less than a month. And, and with a new valley, with a valley yeah. that is not very, very active. That, that's like in less than one month, I think in less than three weeks, actually. Round yeah, about three weeks. Like that. That's I. I really can't. Madeline came from behind. I had when when you joined, I had seven thousand hearts, I think, and now you're above me with one thousand three hundred stars. That that's amazing. Okay, guys, this was the end of it. Uh, let us know down below what you think about this series of Everdale. We really enjoy Everdale. We are making now two episodes per week. Leave a like to this episode. It really helps the channel grow. Let a comment, leave a comment down below what you think about us, what do you think, what other tips should be included in this episode. What else, Madeline? Until next time, play Everdale. See you and bye-bye. Bye-bye.